Tulsa looks good on you, your one-stop resource for all things Tulsa. Well, hey there, it's Jenny Wallach with the Wallach Group, Keller Williams Realty. Tulsa looks good on you. Tulsa looks so amazing on Sarah, the CEO and president of Youth at Heart. And we're so excited to learn from you, Sarah, and tell us everything that y'all do to just make Tulsa an even better place. How are you? Hi, Jenny. Thank you so much for having me. This is so wonderful. We just love, uh, you know, promoting our local nonprofits. Tulsa is such a beautiful place and how we all care so much about our neighbors. And every nonprofit has a, a, a beautiful, comes from a beautiful place and helping, uh, especially in your case, our youth. So just share a little bit about what y'all do over there. Sure, absolutely. So if you can believe it, Youth at Heart has been in the Tulsa community since 1976, oh which God. is kind of a, a little bit of a mind blow. Um, but we've we've pivoted a lot in the services that we've done, but they have always, always encompassed Tulsa youth and their families. So where we are right now and the trajectory that we plan on uh, really staying with and uh, continuing to grow is the out of school time space. Um, we've been in school sites since 2015 offering uh, high quality after school programming at no cost to uh, our, you know, obviously our, our families at those school communities, um, primarily in lower income, higher needs areas. Um, so in a nutshell, that's pretty much it. We do after school programming with, uh, you know, academic support, enrichment opportunities, uh, recreation, um, field trips, just all of the things that you would want for your kiddo to have after school, but uh, for folks that may not be able to afford to send them to uh, a tennis lesson after school or a tutoring uh, after school. I know for me personally, I have all three of my kiddos in, uh, you know, reading support and band and all these things. Um, it's very expensive but it's really important for their growth and their development. And it's important to our family that we participate in those things. So for families and caregivers that, you know, may not be in that same position, this is an opportunity for them to, you know, have their kiddos included in some really fantastic stuff at no cost to them. Um, so not only is it helping the young people, but it's really helping the families as well. Um, important look, you know, get past a really substantial financial burden uh, to, you know, help them keep food on their table. You know, Tulsa and Oklahoma in general, the food insecurity is uh, really substantial. And so being able to kind of let those families use their income uh, to keep food on the table, pay their rent, or even be able to put it back into the community is just really important. Um, and we've we've done some math lately, um, and just for the school year alone, we're potentially saving uh, Tulsa families over four million dollars in what would be potential childcare costs. Um, and so we feel really proud of that, even though uh, you know our focus is a hundred percent on the young people and their academics and enrichment opportunities uh, and supporting their families. But that's a that's a really substantial. Ah. Uh, thing for the community that, you know, we don't always highlight uh, because that's just not as fun to talk about than, you know, uh, tennis and uh, readathons and all of those great things. So, well, I just, you know, um, being a, a, a Tulsa and being around all these years, um, yeah, we've absolutely seen that the cost of living's gone up, the cost of childcare has gone up, and not necessarily all of our wages have gone up to really offset that. And so are you helping out by just being at the school, or are you maybe picking up kiddos to go somewhere else in the after-school programs? Good question. So we really um, are proud of being in the school sites. Right. Okay. So that is really helpful in building uh, building community at each school site that we're at. So not only are we working with school day teachers and the administration to kind of you know, echo what they're doing during the school day so that we can, you know, help kiddos after school to, you know, if they're if a teacher is telling us, hey, second grade is working on this book report, then we'll say, okay, great. And we'll pull that into our programming and kind of help 
uh, help them along with that. Same with math or, you know, STEM or anything like that. Um, we also will hire school day teachers to uh, work with us after school. So, you know, for many teachers that generally do get second jobs, uh, mm -hmm. this is a second job that they're passionate about. And yeah. so it's not, you know, right. having to go and get a second job that they really don't love, but they need to make ends meet. Uh, so, you know, that's a really uh, great opportunity uh, for them. And it's really helpful for us and the kiddos to just have that continuity, um, you know, in, in that school community. So to answer your question in the short, we stay at the school, at each school site. Right. Um, Additionally, transportation is a significant barrier for our families. And so uh, going outside of their school location is really challenging. And so we want to make sure that we're eliminating as many barriers as possible. So when you're, uh, the, to me, I'm just hearing that you must have a lot of people just ready and willing to help out. Or is this all volunteers? The, uh, do you, are you, do you have paid staff? Because yeah, we, we it's like it's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot, um, but it's wonderful. And we do have uh, really wonderful volunteers, uh, you know, come and go, whether it's, uh, you know, volunteers coming in to help with literacy or math, or uh, we have really wonderful, we are an actually, we're a USTA uh, chapter here in Tulsa. And so we have a lot of really wonderful volunteers that come and teach the kids uh, how to play tennis. And that's been something that we've uh, done cool. for a very long time. Uh, we've also partnered with FC Tulsa to teach soccer, um, you know, just bringing in anything that the kids may not have the opportunity to try uh, if they weren't with us. We want to give them all kinds of different opportunities. Um, but I will say the vast majority of uh, the young, the folks on our team are, are paid staff. Um, we want to make sure that we are offering the highest quality uh, after school programming. And so even though volunteers are desperately needed and so appreciated, we really wanna make sure that we are at the top of the line with uh, you know, our staffing and, and folks that really, um, really get it and really want to work with young people and, and stuff like that. So we have um, generally the, it's part-time staff at our schools and, at any point, sometimes we have uh, up to 70 part-time folks working during our school year. Uh, so yeah, we are a big team uh, serving lots of kiddos in Tulsa. Wow. So you're not only making a, a big impact on our on our young people, but also an impact on the lives of these uh, these uh, your staff as well. How cool that they're doing what they love and getting paid while they're doing it. Now, what age do you go? Are you elementary school and below? We are primarily elementary, but we do okay. serve at one middle school at Hale Middle School. Okay. Um, you know, it's just one of those areas that really needed some extra support. And so we've been uh, at Hale Middle School for a little over five years, uh, going into our sixth year this year. Um, and middle middle school is tough that is a tough year yeah. a, a couple of years for uh for youth so it was it's really exciting to be able to yeah. be in a middle school typically speaking of uh school locations and things that reach out to us to say oh my gosh please can youth of heart come to our site is typically elementary schools right. um so that's kind of where we maintain our focus but anytime there's a middle school opportunity we always jump at that as well so how can we best help you? Um, what are your greatest needs that if someone happens to be watching and it warms their heart to see all the good you're doing for our young people and our community, how can we help you? Um, I mean, I think it's uh, pretty self-explanatory for any nonprofit in <laughs> Tulsa. Uh, financial support is always, always yeah. welcomed. Um, but really, I think just as uh, just as important as that is, it's just the community awareness piece. So that's why I was so excited to talk to you this morning, uh, just to put the name Youth at Heart in people's minds that have probably, even though we've been in Tulsa for a really long time, have probably never heard of us. And that's okay. Uh, but, you know, a big thing is, is really that community awareness. And we just want to share, you know, what we're doing and, uh, but also help people understand what a huge benefit uh, after school programming is to any community, regardless of uh, financial position. 
but being able to offer after school programming at no cost is a really incredible for uh, our more vulnerable uh, folks in the community. So uh, really just being able to share our work and, you know, hopefully whoever's watching, you know, may have heard about us for the first time and like us on Facebook and, and share a sweet picture. And maybe that connects another 50 people to, you know, hearing our name. So uh, yeah. that in and of itself is, is wonderful. Well, I've loved learning about y'all and uh, we look forward to sharing and promoting and putting the word out there that you're a great organization helping our youth and also our families and our community. It's such a blessing to have you and thanks so much for everything. Cool. You Jenny, do. thank you so much for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. You bet. We'll talk to you real soon. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye.